Gareth, tell me about renewable energy and what will happen if people don't buy into the whole idea of green energy? Yeah, so that's an interesting question. That Basically, we've got a, a few things that are going on in terms of energy. We have the use of fossil fuels, which has basically been going on since 1769 at a hugely increasing rate through the Industrial Revolution, and that's led to a huge build-up to carbon dioxide. Generally, that's very widely accepted now, pretty much since 2007, through hundreds of international researchers doing work on climate change. It's generally accepted that carbon dioxide and other associated gases are causing the temperature to rise on the, on the planet. And that, give or take a few degrees here or there, is going to have fairly catastrophic effects on our climate and hence on society and our comfort in living. So if we don't do something about energy in terms of using fossil fuel in the way that we are, we've got absolutely awful climate change issues ahead of us. But to one side of that, increasingly as well, it's also generally accepted that fossil fuels are a finite resource. There's only so much of it. And our use of those fossil fuels has increased and they're going to continue in increasing over the next few decades. In fact, it's expected we'll want 30% more than we're using now just in the next 20 years. Well, it's common sense that if we have a finite resource and we use it in increasing amounts of rates and it's going to get harder and harder to get any of that, it's going to run out. It's not going to run out imminently, it's going to last a long time, but what is left available is harder to extract, it's slower to extract, it's more expensive, like the, the tar sands oil in Canada, for example, it's, it's very expensive. That effectively is going to push up prices as we go forward and energy prices are expected to keep on rising and even the Conservative government figures are suggesting we're going to have 6% year-on-year energy price inflation and that's obviously going to have a fairly profound impact on people's energy bills and businesses' energy bills. Indeed, it's expected that by 2020, energy bills will be at least £2,000 per household. And at the moment, they're something like 1300 and they've risen from 800 only two or three years ago. So you can see the increasing you know, trajectory of those prices.